gonna go with my original plan here tonight. Let's get at it. So I'm gonna do a brief history on Sonic the Hedgehog. Well, with me. Be looking out for also for brief history of Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, and Metroid because this this year is their anniversary uh, year too. I would do Fire Emblem, but pff, let's be honest. <laughs> I just jumped into Fire Emblem with Awakening. So, yeah. <laughs> let's be honest. I'm not ready for fire the, the real Fire Emblem yet. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and start off with my Sonic Adventures. Um, but around the time when I had just got a 64, um, I was introduced to a console called the Sega Genesis. And that was back in 2000. So, in 2000... I had just um, learned about the console Sega Genesis because my cousin had brought one over to the house. I was on my little basketball thing in the um in my hall in the hallway. We had a hallway that stretched like this, and I had a little basketball thing like what you see in the arcade or something like that. I had one of those in there. My my dad spoiled my dad and my mom spoiled me when I was a kid. To be honest, um, he brought it over to the house, so I stopped playing with that. That, that came into my cousin's room to play some Sonic, and I was thrilled because the Sonic game I was playing was Sonic 2. It was fun. I never heard of Sonic in my life. And the first time I played it, I liked it. I went through the room. I went through my the hallway just running and humming the song from Green Hill Zone. Not Green Hill Zone. Um, Emerald, Hill, Emerald Hill, Hill Zone. Ugh. The names. But that was my first night. With Sonic, um, with Sonic 2. And that, and because it was on the uh, the the classic, on the classic cartridge that came with Sonic One, Two, and uh, Doctor Robotnik's uh, Mean Mean um, Bean Machine, I got to experience Sonic One. I went to throw with Sonic One. I quit after Marvel on uh, Marvel Zone. I never ever went back to it. Um, but Sonic Two, at Sonic Two, I still played a lot of and. I really didn't start getting past the levels until I reached Oil Zone, um, like, like, like a month afterwards. So it was, it was fun. Um, so at that time, I was still savvy over the um 64. I, I, I was just getting the 64 that year. Yeah, and the first games I asked for was Pokemon Stadium because my cousin came to the house. He brought some cartridges over. I remember sticking it into my Super Nintendo and saying, Why is that working? Why is that working? He says, working? He says it's for a different system. Uh, and I said, What system? So the Nintendo 64 said, Yeah, it was just, it was, it was, um, like, I was just curious, like, what are these cartridges for? And I just got a 64. I just had to get a 64. And I just got, and I had just got that year, in the same year, I got introduced to the Genesis. So, at the time, I was still savvy around the, uh, the Super Nintendo because that's all I had. That's all I knew. I was still playing games like Killer Instinct, Yoshi Island, Super Mario, Donkey Kong. I was still feasting off those games. Only those games only. So, yeah. So, as I got older, I started getting more Sonic games. Um, Sonic 3 was my next game because when I went to Cash Converters when I was young, uh, my mom bought a home. My mom brought me to Super um, ugh, Cash Converters to go get Super Smash Bros. And there it was, sign three. I said, ooh, sign three. My, my mom asked, did you want it? I said, yes. And she said, ring them both up. That along with Tasmanian Devil, and I didn't really play Tasmanian Devil that much. I didn't really like that game. And um, But the next time I would see Sonic was on the GameCube. And before I even got that game, I had so many GameCube games go missing. And for my re-up game, it was Sonic Adventure 2. I didn't play my GameCube for a full month because I didn't have no games. My mom took me to a pawn shop and got me um, Sonic uh, Adventure 2. Two and um, when Wind Waker was coming out, she got me Sonic Mega Collection and Wind Waker along with that. And after that, I started playing the game. Uh, the first game, the first handheld Sonic game I played was Sonic Adventure 2. Who I had like, and for that Christmas, I had another copy of Melee. I had Hulk. I had Hulk and another game. So this is because. I um I already played Melee. I already had Melee. Melee was one of my first GameCube games that I ever had. It was the first GameCube game I had. And since that was uh, uh, I already had played that game. I had traded that in and got Sonic Adventure 2. I had that back to Walmart and got Sonic um Sonic Advance 2. I'm playing that. 
So when I got like, so around that time, Sonic Heroes came out. Sonic Heroes came out. And I asked my mom to go get it for GameCube. Um, she sent my sister to Walmart to put it on Lilway for me. She put the wrong version on Lilway. She got me a PS2 version, but I didn't give a damn because you know what? Sonic uh, Sonic Heroes was my game. That's why it's one of my favorite Sonic games. Because it was one of those games that you know you had so much anticipation for. And you was just, it was just through the roof. Your hype was just up there. And you just can't wait to play it. That's how I was with Sonic Heroes. And when I got it, I was generally pleased. I loved the game. And I still love it to the day. Heck, I already beat the game like almost 10 times already. That's just how bad I liked the game. I beat it on PlayStation, well, six times. And GameCube, four times. <laughs> and after that, Sonic just stuck with me. But every single Sonic game, I just had to have. The only ones that I missed was Sonic Chronicles and the first Sonic R. That's about it. <laughs> and all the old games that I didn't know. That. I remember, I only knew about the Sega Genesis. It's, I didn't get the Sonic Gem Collection as well. Cause I didn't know about that um, collection. I'd never seen it advertised on TV. <laughs> so, I didn't get it. Um, I played Adventure. I played Shadow, I played Sonic 06, I played Sonic Unleashed. See, the thing is, my enjoyment for video games was coming because I wasn't looking on the internet as much. I wasn't looking on the internet for games. Now, now that I spend more time on the internet, on YouTube and Twitch and all this stuff, I see a lot of, you know, I'm generally aware of games. Now I just get games when I see them on a lot of stuff like that. That, but that's just the thing with Sonic in me. Me and Sonic has been around for a long time, and I just thank God that he introduced me to that little blue hedgehog so much for it. But when I said I wasn't gonna buy an amiibo, I had one imported. I had my Sonic amiibo just imported from Japan. I I couldn't wait, and when it was fresh released in Japan, I said, "Forget that, I'm importing it in," and. Yeah, I did. I just like the Blue Hedgehog so much. I have had fun with almost every single Sonic game. Well, except one, uh, Rise of Something. But, you know, hey, who cares? It, it, I still love Sonic to this day. I can't wait to see what Sega does with the little Blue Hedgehog in the future. It's going to be a bumpy ride for the Hedgehog as much as I see it. It can be a, a sweet dream or a beautiful nightmare for Sonic. Um... Uh, but I still love the little blue hedgehog. I can't wait to see what else they're gonna do with it. I know it's gonna be on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, so that's the reason why I got on PlayStation 4 for it. Play the next Sonic game, cause I, if it's gonna be on the NX or Wii U still, either way, if it's gonna be on the NX or Wii U still, you know, I still got on PS4. Uh, I'm not buying it for better graphics. I'm just buying it because I want to play the next Sonic game. Yeah, I don't want to miss out. So yeah. So yeah, Sonic's been with me for a long time. And I pretty do love the Hedgehog. He, matter of fact, he is my favorite series of all times. Yes, Sonic is my favorite series of all time. I do love him. Um, yes, Nintendo may be my favorite company, but Sonic is my boy. My boy. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy about Sonic. But anywho, it's your boy Silver Casey for Clever. I've gone on long enough. Um... I'll be doing one like before July 1st because that's when the new Pokemon news come out. I'll be doing a history of Pokemon. My history is going to call you. My history with Pokemon is going to make you want to call me a noob, fake fanboy. But trust me, it's going to be worth, worth the wait of hearing. So it's your boy Silver Kid, Sifu Clever, signing out. Deuces.